This is at the Platte Lake Weir. This is part of the fish catching, the salmon catching session. There's actually some fish in here, just waiting. Mm, a bit of too much reflection there. So we have a bunch of people on the Platte River. They have to do a portage over that side. Yeah, this black mass in the middle is the fish. There's a little one right here. I don't know if I can zoom in on him. Nah, I think the water reflections got me. Spring. Long story, pause is required. Maybe in the spring. September for this one. So we're at the weir again on the Platte River. The black mass is a lot bigger, and you can see there's a few fish sort of jumping out of the water. There's all the salmon trying to get a look, say, well, why can't I swim up the river? Fascinating. Crowds are a lot less. There's only a few people now kayaking. There's one family here. I imagine if that was piranha fish, you wouldn't want to fall in. Yeah, you can see the fish here. They're approaching the weir and then sort of backing away from it. Salmon, lots of them. There's a whole bunch just passing right in front. Now racing off back downstream, I need to turn around and come back. So there's more black masses of fish down there. Eventually they're all coming back. There's uh, a few fishermen down there. If they turn around and uh, actually put the line the other way, there's a big black mass of fish there. I guess you can't see them. Here comes another herd of fish coming upstream and another one going down. So they just swim up and down because they can't get by the weir. Now they're all going back up.
Midwest Polar Peninsula, and there is rainbow and brown trout and Atlantic salmon. Marquette State Fish Hatchery is where the DNR rears brook and lake trout, as well. Lots of buildings full of these tanks. There's a lot of them. This turbulence here are fish which I actually can't see in the water. It's definitely fish in here. Okay, I think I can see the fish in the bottom now that the top water is still. They're all about four to six inches long, something like that, maybe three inches to six inches. by the light. Well, it looks like these guys tried to escape. Uh, I didn't get very far though. So this third tank is empty. Looks like the fourth one is empty. They number them the other way. This is tank number six. So tank two. We got a rope off here, so we can't go into the other one. There's quite a few fish in there here. Chopping the fish food in, which looks like very small brown pellets. So this building is quite large as well. Obviously equipped to a lot of these ponds, or whatever you want to call them. You can see some of the trees starting to turn here. It's the maples that are doing the pinks and reds. Oh, I wonder what this little guy is. He's looking around. Clearly he's lost. There's definitely fish in these uh, tanks. You'll see them surfacing. And the fins. It's like sharks going through the water. Fascinating.